Oh my god, we're in winter semifinals and it's Frizz. Frizz is running out the Falco and Braille's running out that Kirby. This is some hype stuff. Welcome to Mega Kick. Winter semifinals at the top eight for Project M. We're getting hype here at the where are we? Going Bonkers Family Fun Center? Yo, yeah, hop in, hop in, hop in real quick. And we're gonna be joined here by Hyper Matt. He's sitting in top eight in melee, so kind of a kind of a you know rising star for this tournament, doing pretty nicely. And right now, Frizz opens up with that up here off the top, and he's taking three damage. So he's sitting yeah. pretty, pretty sitting pretty pretty, right? Beyond this is, pretty, uh, pretty right? crazy because Braille actually took a set off him pretty recently. Oh yeah, I heard about that. He was talking yeah. to him about that. Yeah, it's like uh, you know. I, I believe that was with his Mario. Hmm. I wonder why he's running out the Kirby right now. Are yeah. you trying something different? Seeing if you can throw out something that Frizz has never seen before? I but, knew that well, he hit Well, that's questionable. Uh, <laughs> what were you saying? Sorry, I interrupted you right there. Oh, I know he's been playing some Falco, but yeah, I yeah, no, haven't heard not, anything about a Kirby. This is not going very well right now. Uh, I assume that, you know... Frizz is going Falco, right? This is not like some sort of reverse. Like, what if we got yep. Mind Game right now and Frizz is actually going Kirby? Oh, no. Because he throws a, You know, Frizz has been known to throw out a joke character here or there, right? You know? Yeah, but... I, I think he tries to get most of his joke characters to be pretty good. Hey, lucky, you play the loser and that's off screen. Yeah. We had a lot of DQs in Project M. Like the bracket was sitting pretty high, right? We had top, in top four on winner's side. So how Frizz, many entrants Braille, did we have? Uh, for PM? Uh, uh, yeah. Like 20, 24? 24. There's a lot of DQs. I'm, I'll have to double check that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we had Frizz and Braille on one side of Winter Semis and the Obama Llama and Dead Set on the other side. Dead Set's kind of like Dead a new Set. player. Yeah, yeah that's why I was like, that. I've never heard of him. But, you know, he, he won his, you know, he got in the winter, on Winter Side on his pool and he was like kind of the lowest. Yeah, what's funny is Obama Llama went home and said, screw it, I'm out of here. So, wow. Dead Set got like the free ride into the money right now. Like, I'm like, seed me in the Winter Finals, please. And then, we got Lark and KSM Potts playing off on the in the distance. Okay. Lucky and uh, Bowser Bro uh, just played, and so Lucky's waiting for the loser of this game. And Potts actually is going to get a, a ride into yeah. loser semis. So there's a lot of there's a lot of you know holes in the bracket, but it happens. Yeah. Long day, people get tired, just want to leave. A lot of money on the line though. It's weird. Think, I think right? a lot of new players must be rising because I don't recognize a lot of these yeah. names. Well, I mean, okay, just uh, like we got what Frizz and Braille. They're they're kind of you know mainstays. Dead set. I'm not sure where he's from. Warwick is from Topeka. Okay. And Lucky and Lucky and uh, Bowser Bro are from Lawrence. Although Bowser Bro originally from Topeka, he just moved to, to Lawrence. Recently. Okay. I think it's just that I'm only familiar with the KC scene. Though. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Things are a little different here out west. You know, a little bit. There's there's some people. I don't I don't know. Sometimes the talent I think is not quite there. Kind of like the KC side, just because you guys go hard. Especially in the wave dash games, PM and melee, but yeah, we do what we can out here. And right now, we got Braille sticking with the uh, Kirby, doing what he can, I guess. But yeah. you would think he would switch, right? Because that was not not a good match last game. Yeah, and in last tournament, he did go Mario. Uh, I don't know if anything has changed since then. Uh, Maybe I, he knows something we don't about the well, game. Well, I think or? Robert. I think he was playing Falcon uh -huh. in PM. Uh, okay. So. Maybe he just doesn't like that matchup. Gotcha. I'm not sure. And he's got, you know, he's pretty close to tight, so maybe he's got that adaptation on. Yeah. And, and, you know, when someone picks Falco, you're like, oh, this is a character I can gim. Right. And that's something that Kirby loves to do. The game, and so, the game plan kind of stays the same, like melee, Project M, get yeah. the Falco off stage and get get him in the yeah. blast zone, right? So I, I can see the reasoning behind this pick, unless he's, you know, just been playing a lot of Kirby and wants to main Kirby or something. Yeah. Right? And it makes a good amount of time. He's definitely keeping it much more respectable this game than uh, than the last one. So let's see if he's able to make something of it. You know, especially when you're the underdog. That's kind of what you want to do. You, like break the game into stocks. You try yeah. to keep yourself in stock by stock. Okay, we're down to three stocks. I'm still in the game. Great. We're down to two stocks. We're you know we're almost down to two stocks. He's still in the game, which is great. Let's see if we can get it down to one stock. You know, and he's right there in position to make an upset. Yeah. But right now. Oh, we, got, we got some matches being reported. All right, so we got, we're going to report uh, Potts over Laura. And Potts is going to be over Obama Lava. Potts is going to lose semi. So uh, we already got the, the bracket bottleneck. You know, the difference you know, in percent in stock is so much lower in this game. Yeah. Uh, Ooh. Frizz went the wrong direction. He kind of, like his map quest hadn't updated yet. It's like, turn left here. And then he ended up like, not where he, should. he drove yeah. off the bridge and died. <laughs> But we're even. See, two stock, two stocks. We have that I kind of imagine he wanted to like drop down, shine, mm, turn gotcha. around, back air. If that's something you need to do. Yeah. I don't know. 
And Kirby's putting in that work, some combo action. Man, that hitbox on that dash attack is kind of crazy. <laughs> what is that? Just a fireball across the stage. Oh, this Ooh. is going to be it. Oh, that kills off the top. Man, wow. Kirby died so early. And, you know, he just went from being, like, you know, holding it close to he's behind by quite a bit. He's got to yep. get that revenge kill. He's got some momentum going. But that shine's so powerful. And Fred's just oh my in, God. stacking it up, right? Yep. And it doesn't look quite familiar how to deal with Kirby's recovery. Does he still have that sideways horizontal, I think, in this game? Well, yeah, I think uh, so. <laughs> you know, okay, if we write the story of this game then, right? And let's say Braille does pull off the upset. I, I don't know. Well, I mean, if he does, right? right? But now, if he I does, think. I think yeah. we, could, we could agree. Frizz has kind of been his own worst enemy this game because he's taking two of his own stocks, right? Yeah, definitely. And he took all... Wow. I'm a prophet. That <laughs> I am a prophet. I called that. <laughs> All right, it's best of three, guys. So it's, oh my it's both God. three, right? So yeah, winner. <laughs> Braille sitting here in Upset City, just at the at the border. Population, like you know, just one frizz. He just threw it. Yeah, I, th I think if Robert keeps a strong mindset, yeah, it's, he'll. I think he'll get it. Yeah, definitely. You know, despite his young appearance, Frizz is definitely a veteran player now. Oh yeah. Point, so yeah. if anybody's gonna have that poise to really just make it happen and come back from killing yourself three times, yeah, it'll be Frizz at this tournament. So. It's kind of where champions are are made and born, right? Yeah, I've seen him make some uh, some pretty sick three stock comebacks before. Not yet. Did you win? Did you? Yeah. Oh, Robert's going Fox. I was thinking this would happen. Oh, I got this. Is that Fox counter pick? Yeah. What do you pays out? Oh my God. And man, I look away for two seconds trying to handle some TO work, and all of a sudden, yeah, Frizz has already opened up a lead here. Let's see if we can hold on to it. Just and this is, you know, basically what happens. You when know, normal, Robert needs really needs yeah. to win. You know, normally I'd tell people, you know, kind of like, you know, camp in this situation, just throw out Fox's laser, just put the work in. But you know, with Frizz killing himself, maybe it might be time just just do what Frizz does, go in and just hit the attack button a lot and just rail on people. He's doing it. Oh my god, yeah. is that it? That will kill Kirby. Yeah, he's one of those players that just has really good pressure a lot yeah. of the time. And I think a lot of newer players, they aren't used to playing with people as technical. Because right. maybe in their local scene, they don't have anyone that plays like that. It's and very it fun to watch. Pretty deadly. I mean, usually it's someone just getting Shreked on, but I don't know. It's very fun to watch, you know, as a player that doesn't actually like play Project M too much, you know, just kind of oh, the, the watch shield pressure? objective. Yeah, just what he does with it, just oh, how yeah. aggressive it is, just exerting his will on his opponent, you know? Yeah. That's something. So people watching at home, they should take something from that, you know? People yeah. say, I mean, you gotta be patient in this game, don't get yeah. me wrong to win, but you can really just exert your will on your opponent just when yeah. you need it. But, put and and it's not just a technical thing though, because people can do things like buffer roll. Yeah. And if you're like on the wrong side of them, if you aren't like paying attention and you just go for another shine there, you're yeah. gonna miss that punish. Yeah, that up smash kills and he's sitting here at the uh, on the brink of uh, that winner's finals. Wow. And right now, Frizz just, told, yeah, he's, I don't know, uh, Braille doesn't seem to have an answer to that, you know, the, the Nair pressure, right? The Nair yeah. Jordans. How do you stop Nair Jordan if you don't have, like, a defender that can, like, keep him out of the pain? He's able to reverse that situation, too. Throws out the reverse back air, just very businessman-like. He's like, all right, you got that first game, and now it's time uh, to put in that work. Braille, very uh -oh. good pickup, though. Yeah. That'll be it. There he goes. Gets that roll up and you know, Braille. He's gonna need something, something big here. He's out of that up throw percent to get the combo, but he's still got other things that could go wrong. His fox has a lot. Of, I, I'm, I imagine jabbed up smash. Yeah. Up. There it goes. Right? Dude, you're so good. <laughs> you're so good. Yeah, there we go. He got oh the jabbed up smash, and that's frizz into winners finals. Braille's gonna play lucky.